All right, so what I want to take a look at real quick is how you go about creating an interactive roller reverse. So here's a end example. How do I get this all set up? So when I roll over this image, this roll over happens. Now, once I show you how to do one, it'll be easier to do a whole bunch. So here goes. First thing that I always begin these is in the planning stages. So I have this laid out here in Photoshop, in Photoshop, and I have all the different things that I want to happen in this rollover organized into layers. Now, what's really awesome about Adobe Flash and all the Adobe products, actually, all the different softwares, that they all work really well together. So I have organized this into layers in, flat, in Photoshop. Now, I'm going to import these layers directly into Adobe Flash. What I need to make sure that I do before I begin that is I need to make sure that um, I need to make sure that I save it in its native Adobe file. So if I'm working in Photoshop, I'll save it as a PSD. So here goes, file, save as, and I'm going to save it as a PSD, save. Now if I was working in Adobe Illustrator, I would save it as a .ai file. Next step is I come on over into Flash, and I'm going to go file, new, and I'm going to say OK. And actually, I should have showed you that for a minute, file, new, Make sure to set it action, action script 3.0. Let's just leave everything else as it is. I hit OK, and here I am. Next step is I want to import my, my PSD file. So here goes. I come to File, Import to Stage, and I am going to find that PSD file that I just created, Window9.psd. OK. Now, what I'm going to do as I bring these all in uh, is I'm actually going to bring them in bring them in as a movie clip. I actually already know I'm going to use them as a button, but I like to bring them in as movie clips because you have a lot of different options when they're movie clips. So let's hit OK and here they all are. Now, they're also in your library. So these are important windows. We have our library, our properties, we have our tools. This is my essentials workspace. So if you don't, your workspace doesn't look like this, just come on up over here and just say reset essentials and these will be the different windows that you get the timeline is also a very important window. Now, what I want to do actually is I'm actually going to delete this layer right here uh, because I actually don't need it right now. I'm going to bring it in when I create my rollover. So all I want is to have this image of this window. And there it is. Okay, great. Um, now, I, I tend to bring them all to the stage and you probably did, I didn't really need to do that, but that's, what I, that's how I like to work. All right, here goes. Now I want to create my interactive rollover. What I want to do is I'm going to actually just zoom in just a little bit here so I can see it a little bit better. Great. Let me move just one more time. Pull this on up a little bit. There we have it. Now, what I want to happen is when I roll over this window right here, I want the bigger window to appear. So what I do is I need to figure out, okay, what, what area is this? So what's the hit area? That's actually the term. And the hit area, where do I want the mouse to hit? when this rollover happens. So I'm going to actually just grab an oval and I'm going to draw it to cover this space. And I can grab my free transform tool. I can move this around, pull this down a little bit, pull this out a little bit, and I'll make this my rollover area. Now, I need to convert this to a button because this is going to be a hit area. So in Flash, it will work as a button. So I come to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'm going to make it a bump button. Now, um, you know, you can name it whatever you want to, C-C-I-L-I-A. I'm going to name it the Cecilia button. OK. Now, what I do, once I have the button created, I double click the button, and I am down in the button. And this is what I want to see on my timeline. As I come up here, I can see it was Scene 1. Now I'm inside of the Cecilia button. And in order to create these interactive rollovers, we're working with buttons. So I'm going to leave the up empty, and I'm going to come to hit. I'm actually going to take this up, and I want to move it all the way over to hit. That's what I want to happen. This will be the hit area. Now I'm going to come over to over. I'm going to leave up empty, because up will, will appear on scene one, and I want that to be empty. So I'm going to come to over, and I'm going to come on into my library, and I'm going to find the image that I want to appear. And I want this image right here to appear. So I'm going to drop it right in here, place it where I want it to be, and I'm going to say, oh, okay, when the mouse goes over, that's what I want to happen. And actually with it there, now I'll insert a keyframe. So I come to Insert, 
timeline keyframe. I go to down. I do the same thing. Insert timeline keyframe. Okay, and there I have it. Now I'm going to test this. So I go to control, test movie, test. All right, it's not working. And the reason why it's not working, actually nothing should be in the up. So when I come on here, I'm going to delete that from, I don't know, I must have just put it in there by accident. All right, so you want the up to be empty. Here, this is the hit area, and uh, the up should be empty because the up will appear on the first screen. So let's try that one more time. Control, test movie, test. And now when I roll over it, voila, I can see the whole thing. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and I can work with how that's all happening, but there we have it. Creating an interactive rollover. I think you get the sense too how now you could go back in and create a whole bunch of other ones. Let me try it one more time from here. Control. This one was done the same exact way. Test movie test. All right, and that one turned out a little bit better. Now, this is the story too. These files come out as SWF files. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to say file, save as. I'm going to give it a name. C E C I L I A. Now, I'd always recommend to keep your .fla file, and the reason is because that is the native Flash file. Now, when you test it, Control, Test, Test Movie, Test, it automatically creates a SWF file. So, if you're working on the web, if you're creating a project in WordPress, um, what you're going to do is you would embed the .swf file. That would be the file that you would be interested in in working with. There we have it, created, creating interactive rollovers. And hopefully you can get the sense too, you could create you know, a whole bunch of different things, but that would be the first step to doing the first button. Thanks so much.